Hello, this is a tutorial on how to use the Canon Legria HFR17. To turn it on, you just need to press on the power button on the top. And open up the screen here. It resembles all the other cameras from the last 20 years. Uh, it has a analog stick here, which you can control the user interface, and the function button, which works kind of like an enter button or an OK button. It has six buttons on the side, which I'll explain shortly. Uh, it has two buttons on the top, one for zoom, for zooming in and out, and also has a button for taking stills. Uh, this is the recording button, so you just press that when you want to record. So, the first button that you're mainly, and pretty much the main button you're going to use, is the playback button, which you can switch between recording and you can switch back to watch your playback videos. So if you click that, it switches to all the recordings that you've done so far. You use this little joystick to move between them. So you can use it left and right, up and down, if there's ones lower on the bottom. If you keep moving it up and down, you can also move it up, and it's got little sections here. It's hard to see. Let me see if I can get it closer. It's a little hard to see. At the moment, it's on a little subsection which has a little camera picture on it. You can move it left and right. This is for the built-in memory. And this one is for the SD. On the other side, this is for camera stills. As you can see, the camera symbol. This is for internal memory. And this is also for the SD card. At the moment, there is no pictures on it. But if I take a picture, I will show you how you can see your pictures on the SSD on the SD card. So I've taken a picture. All I need to do is use this little analog stick, move it up, move it over, to the SD and as you can see there's my picture on there so if you click the analog stick down as in just pressing it inward you can go to the picture and it will enlarge it in order to go back all you need to do is hit it again and it will go back to the main screen where you can see all your pictures and you can shift through them Now, it's a video camera, so basically it's it's the same thing with video. Um, all you need to do is just go to your video, click and press the analog button as if it's a button, and then it will play the video. You click on it again to stop the video, and you can go between each one. Yep. So that's how you navigate through the user interface and look at all your videos on playback. So now that we've discovered what the playback button is, this next button, video snapshot, uh, you really don't need to worry too much about this. This is basically just like a gimmicky feature where you press it. And what happens is, let me try that. What happens when you press video snap is it shoots a small video where you can basically load it up on the internet. All you do is just press the red button. You see this little blue timer going up. And you do like a little message or something. It's kind of like one of those uh, little snap video things they have on the internet nowadays. Um, the next button is web. 
I click on that, I have looked at the web button. I found out you need a special card to actually use this button. Uh, it's called an iFi card. Uh, it's basically like an SD card, but it has internet capabilities. Uh, it has to be in the camera, and you press this button, and then you can upload the videos to the internet. Uh, this is, at the moment, just has a regular SD card, so I can't do that feature, and I can't explain it either, but you really don't have to worry about that. Uh, for taking stills, all you need to do is just press this button. Um, it's basically just like a regular camera. I'll show you an example on how to do that. So right now I'm in this mode. I'm in uh, looking at my films and pictures. So I want to press this button again. And now I'm recording. Now all I need to do is just press down on this button and that takes a camera picture and then if I want to see that all I need to do is just press this button again I use the analog stick move it to move it up so I can get up into this section here and then I move it over to my SD card and then it will show me the picture I have taken so I use the analog stick push it down and then I click it in to select that picture and then I can look at it up close. So, I've explained these three buttons. Uh, this next button here is basically an automatic button. If you don't want to deal with any of the uh, super settings on here, all you need to do is just click that. Basically what this does, it makes it automatic for you so you don't have to futz with any of the settings. Uh, if you're in a dark room, it will make it dark. If it's light, then it will make it light. And you just need to click it, and it will be on auto. That's good to just click that if you have no idea how to really use a lot of the settings on the camera. It just kind of does it for you. But if you want to use the other settings, you're going to have to look in the manual. And uh, you click that, and then you can see all the other stuff on there. But I prefer to just put it on auto. Just make it easier for yourself. And a uh, display button here, what that does is it basically adjusts what you see on your screen. Um, as you can see, if you, if you have auto on and you click display, uh, you, it doesn't really work. So the display button is quite useless if you have it, if you have the auto on, so you don't have to really worry about that. Uh, that's pretty much all the buttons on the side. And I think I've explained just about everything you really need to know how to use the camera. So, uh, just to recap, all you need to do, turn it off. All you need to do is turn it on. Hear that beep. It's ready to record. It's already on auto, so you don't have to really worry about any settings. Um, you can record just by clicking the button. Right now it's recording with that little red dot on there. And then you stop recording by clicking it again. If you want to take a picture, you just hold down the button on top and that'll snap make a snap picture. If you want to zoom in, you can use the little button on top here to zoom in and zoom out. And also, if you want to see what you've recorded or taken a picture of, you just go to the playback button here, and you click that, and you have all your videos here. If you want to look at a video, you just click this little joystick inward, and it will show it. You click it again to stop it. And if you want to move around, you just use the joystick left, right, up, and down. And also, if you want to get to look at your still shots, you need to move the joystick up. And you can move it to your stills here. And it will be on the SD card because we're not using the internal memory. And then you can look at your stills. 
and then you can just click again like you would with the video. And then in order to get out of playback, you just click that again and now you can record again. And then there's a video snap if you want to take small pictures and they're timed, I think, 30 seconds. You can click that, hit the record button, you have your little timer and you have to shoot a quick message. And that just records little snaps. And there you go. And you can turn it off. Open this up. You have your battery here. You just recharge it inside the camera. You have your SD card here. Just a regular SD. You can put that in your computer. Or you can also plug this in to the computer directly. But you're going to need a a mini USB port, a mini USB cord. Uh, not the ones that you use for your phone, but a large one that you would use for, for actual cameras. Uh, this port here is uh, HDMI. If you want to plug it into your TV, you need a mini HDMI to HDMI cord. And this last one is just a component output. Um, that, you might as well just say those are obsolete. Um, don't have to really worry about those. That one at the bottom. And then this is just for audio. If you want to listen to the audio, um, you can plug a headphone, uh, headphones in. Put those in your ears. And uh, this one is uh, just another audio cord as well. And that is the Canon Legria HFR17. Good luck.